So what this implant allows you to do, you can interface with a computer, mm -hmm. you can use keyboard, type in URLs, you can play video mm -hmm. games. How does it work? Basically, my implant has like a Bluetooth connection to the computer. Through that, Neuralink has created an app that they have uploaded to the computer, and through that app, I can interface with, with the computer. What it does is all of the electrodes on the threads are sending neuron spikes, neuron signals. Through my, so it's all implanted in my motor cortex, through my intentions. So say if I want to try to, you know, move my hand left, right, up, down, I can't really move it. I have like a little bit of movement in my hand, but I can't really move it. But the neurons are still firing. That intention is still there. So like those signals are being sent. There's just a cutoff in my spinal cord. And those electrodes are picking up those signals. And there's an algorithm like machine learning going on in the background that is taking those intentions. And over time, it is learning what I'm trying to do. And that translates to cursor control. So if I want to try to move the cursor to the left, I move my hand to the left, but that's not necessarily what I would need to do. If I wanted to move the cursor to the left, I could kick my foot or I could do any sort of like motor action to train it to learn that's what I want it to do to go left. So there will be like a visual on the screen that says like move your hand to the left and then they will train that left movement to left on the cursor control. But that visual could be anything. It could be like, do a little jig and that'll move it to the left. Anything you can do, I mean, it can learn and you can map that to anything. Does this include facial movements? Does it, yeah, so I, you could like move it with your nose? Yeah, I, we haven't tried anything like that. We haven't tried, you know, a lot of stuff. This is very, very, still very new. We're working on what works well at this point. My right hand stuff, we have mapped a lot of things to like individual fingers, hand movements in general but we've done like left hand stuff, we've done foot kick stuff, and it doesn't look like the signals are as good. But that also might be just due to the fact that some of the threads are pulled out. So when they fix that issue with the next people, then those things would be much, much better. Theoretically, do multiple things at once. You know, you map, say, my right hand to the cursor control, then you map my fingers, my other hand, and my toes to key control. So I could be moving the cursor and typing at the same time with my toes or something. There's a lot to uh, explore with this. It's so interesting that it's tied to your mind telling different parts of your body to move. Obviously very ignorant to this stuff. I thought you were just using your mind and telling the cursor to go around. That is true. So it's something that we differentiate. There are what are called attempted movements and imagined movements. So at the very beginning, I did a lot of attempted movement. Attempted movement is just what it sounds like. I attempt to move my hand in a certain direction. I attempt to move my fingers, like lift your finger up, down, left, right. I attempt to do something. And then the algorithm will take that and translate it to cursor control. But what I realized maybe a few weeks in was that I could just think cursor go here and it would move. It blew my mind when that happened for the first time. Like I said, everything going on in my brain, all of it still works. All the signals are still there. I think something to try to move and the signal gets sent. So when I'm attempting to move my hand and the cursor's moving and it's moving basically where I want it to, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. It didn't really shock me that it worked. I assumed that it would work because all the signals are still working. It's just my spinal cord that's jacked up. But when I moved it for the first time with my mind without attempting to move at all, I, like I was giddy the entire day. I could not believe what had just happened. I think we're gonna find that with a lot of things. Right now we are doing like, I'm trying to map sign language, like the sign language alphabet in order to text, like write words and stuff. And it's pretty promising, it worked. I'm sure there's a video out there of me somewhere that Neuralink has of me spelling a couple words with sign language. So you're thinking in your mind or you're trying to get your hands to mm -hmm. make the signs of yep. sign language and then the computer interprets that yep. as the language and types it out. Yep.
And I think the same thing is going to happen where I went from attempting to move my hand to imagining just moving the cursor. I think it's going to be the same way with the texting. I haven't had this confirmed yet, but I don't see why not. I think at some point the computer is going to learn I'm just going to think that letter instead of actually trying to move and it'll oh. type it. Because I think it's... I think it's both like me learning what like the computer is trying to do, the algorithm, and the algorithm learning what I'm trying to do. So over time, it's just going to be completely thought-based.